Hi guys, I tried to do this a bit earlier on my other crappy, <clears throat> excuse me, my other crappy tablet. I ended up having to post it to my Facebook group because I couldn't get it to YouTube because there was some sort of issue. Whatever, that being said, I'm just going to show you again. <laughs> and uh, hopefully this gets to YouTube and this is what I was doing. You guys are, most of you know that I got those roses for my anniversary. 20 years, I know, scary. 30 years together. Even scarier. <laughs> um, but the roses are um, now in a, a pretty sad state. I don't know if you can see that. So I've cut them all. They're all hanging like this in the bouquet. So I cut them off um, off the stems. And I dry them because I use my roses for my um, rose petal bath bombs. Or my surprise burst rose gardens or secret gardens. And whatever. So this is what I was trying to show you how I dry them. So I would take them all off. They're kind of semi-dry at the moment anyways. But what I do, since they're so, if you can see that, floofy and billowy. Maybe you can't see that very good. Can you see that? Okay. So I take the outside um, petals off. They come off like, like a dream. And if they're still in really nice dark color and shape, I will just lie them on a piece of uh, paper towel, parchment, whatever. And I just lie them flat okay if there's any I ripped him if there's any brown ones I put them off to a separate pile like you'll see some of them like this are brown um, you can still use them I mean for on top of your soap you can use them in the bath bombs too but I just prefer um, the prettier darker uh, like the red ones like this because I think they look pretty and the color stays really nice after they're dry so this is what I do I'll pull them off if they're brown, they go in the brown pile. If they're nice and red, I put them in the red pile. So there's a lot of browns on this. But I get it to the point where it's, um, I guess, about the size of a rose bud. So it could be like this size, or it could be down to this size, okay? This one I've already pulled off the stem. I showed it in the other video. But I'll leave it like this. I'll put it in my little, I have a little box that my father made me. It's actually um, for selling lip balms or lipsticks or eyeliners or anything you have in a small container. So I just set them in there like this. And that way they dry and they keep their shape. So when you pull the petals off after they're dry, um, you know, they're in a nice shape. I mean, you're going to crush most of them anyways for a bath bomb. But I like I said, I like to just take them out. You can't really see what I'm doing, but I'm just spreading them on a paper towel. Um, like that. They dry super fast. If people have, if you have a, a dehydrator, by all means, go for that. I just find a lot of times the dehydrator um, or the oven, they turn brown. And I want them to keep that really pretty, that red rose color um, that, I, that they had. I do it with any kind of rose, like any red rose any color is what I'm trying to say but anyways when they end up sitting there in this little container like this and then they'll end up drying and it'll be a hard crunchy dry what I'll do is I'll take the bottom I've already done one but I'll show you I would take the bottom right here and I would pull this out this one's not dry enough to do it I don't think so I'm not gonna do it I'll show you that I did it to one already I pulled the little stem out of the bottom so you're left with this cute little um, adorable rose bed okay that will dry like that and when it's dry I will just gently gently because um, they'll just all slightly slightly they'll all nicely come off and you'll have these really pretty little petals so you're basically you know taking off your edges so it's not floppy looking like this taking off your edge petals you notice they can all come off you can do the whole rose like this just take off all the petals, like so, lie them all out to dry, separate them, you'll get down to this middle piece. There's a couple ways to do it. Like I said, you would take that out, lie all your little bud pieces around if you want the flat ones. If you don't care, you can leave them like this and they can be a different shape. But I just lie them out, in a week, two weeks, they're totally dry, I put them in a Ziploc bag, and you're good to go for um, your bath bombs. The brown ones, they don't get wasted, just so you know. The brown ones, sorry, I just saw something. I'm scared. I'm in the basement by myself. The lights are off in the corner. Anyway, 
So that's that. We know we have weird things here. So anyways, the brown ones, they don't get wasted. Uh, I'll take these brown ones and I will use them for bath salts, uh, for potpourri, for anything. Oh, even um, a really good thing to do that I've done actually quite a bit is you can make a rose oil. And you would just take your fresh, it, it does work with dry. I prefer the fresh rose petals for that. I would take my rose petals, put them in a jar with whatever oil you want to use. You can use um, olive oil, you can use your apricot, you can use fractionated coconut, it doesn't matter. Whatever your oil is, you can do um, hemp oil. It's totally up to you. You can also make rose water. Um, and that would be the same idea, but it would be in water. And I would suggest boiling the water and then pouring the boiling water over your rose petals that way and don't leave it that long because you know your rose the water can go yucky that's one you'll have to play with quick uh, but then you could use the rose water and there's that special um you can either take poly 20 with your distilled water and then you can add a bit of your rose essence oils or whatever and it'll mix and you'll make a nice rose body spray or however you want to do it there's also a pre-mixed base that you can buy so you don't have to worry about the proper mixing of your poly 20 with your water and your witch hazel or your vodka or whatever it is that you use for your bases if you don't want to go that route you can buy the pre-mixed um there's a pre-mixed already formulated for you where all you're doing is adding the fragrance to it or your essential oil or your rose oil or your rose water whatever it's already pre-mixed for you um so you don't have to worry about, you know, proper measurements and whatnot. There's a lot of things, like, and if you guys are looking for, like, recipes of stuff, like, say you get an idea and you want to make, oh, I want to make a room spray. Or, oh, I'm dying to make a nice cooling mint spray for, you know, after I'm hot out in the sun. In the sun. Or I want something for my feet because they're burning after work and you've been on them. He's yelling at me. Uh, on your feet because they're hot and burning. A lot of these places where you buy your ingredients from, from like uh, Wholesale Supplies Plus, Voyager, Sapphire Blue, uh, New Directions, I believe, has it too. There's a recipe section. Just check it out. And a lot of them too, not even a, ro uh, not even a recipe section, where the product um, description is and whatnot, where you're picking the product, you can, they'll give you like a little blurb of, hey, this is used for this, this, and this, and this, and then it'll say, see my recipes, or don't, or whatever, and then... I mean, please, guys, research Google. There's so many recipes out there. Plus, keep your eyes open on Amazon. Uh, on the Amazon Kindle um, section, there's a lot of um, books that come out that are free. Or if they're not free, they're like two cents, you know, up to 99 cents. Grab those books if you have a Kindle. Doesn't mean you have to follow the recipes to a T, because a lot of them, like, I don't I don't like a lot of the recipes. I ended up, it's a good base to start with, and then you can tweak it to whatever you want to make it, you know, your own personal touch type thing. But there's so many out there, and I mean, if you guys are stuck on something, if I can help you, I have no problem whatsoever. If, if you guys have questions and you don't know where to look for something, just give me a shout. If I can, if I can help, I will more than gladly help you try to find what you're looking for, or I can even help you, you know, we can work on something together. I've done that with quite a few people. I've also had people help me. My friend Amina is an amazing, amazing woman, and she's helped me many, many, many times. Um, it's good to get help from people sometimes, or even get people's opinions, outlooks, um, ideas. Just ask. Don't expect everything to just come to you. Sometimes you're lucky and you whip up something and it works and you, you know, you've tested it for so long or whatever and it's, it's perfect. That's good. That happens. But please just, um, ask. And like I said, if we don't have the answers, we will help you find the answers. This is just a sanitizing spray. It's actually really good and I'm not going to buy it again because I'm going to make it myself. But it's, yeah, it's, I bought this for when I was doing nails, but I use it before I make my bombs and whatever. But anyhow, guys, this is just a short one, because like I said, the first one I did, I couldn't get it to load to YouTube, so it's actually on my Facebook group page. If you guys don't know that I have a Facebook group page, it's called Atomic Bomb Bath and Body Tip Tips Trick Tricks, Tips, and Useful Information. 
<laughs> I don't know how useful it's going to be, and I don't know. But if you're interested, that's my Facebook page. I have, like, I also have my Atomic Bomb business page. Um, but the um, the tips, tricks, and useful information, there's free recipes in, my, in the files. You guys are more than welcome to join and add your recipes. We can do recipe sharing if you like. We can do group recipes where we work on stuff together. Um, I want it to be a fun group. I don't want any drama. I don't want any of the nagging or the knocking and, um, you know, taking people down and you're better than them and holier than thou. Any of that crap, it's not happening in the group. Um, I do give people a one chance, but two strikes and you're out. There's no three strikes. It's two strikes. Like, one warning, second time, I'm sorry, bye bye uh, There's enough of that going on without having to have it. Uh, invited into your own group so I prefer to keep it drama free I want it to be fun I want it to be uh, educational somewhat as you know as much as we can do um, everybody is allowed to add their input and by all means it's a sharing friendly place we can talk about personal stuff in this group I'm not one of those people that say oh god keep it to soap keep it to bath and body products if you guys have something you're dealing with and you're going through stuff by all means, talk about it. That's what it's for. We're all human. We all have stuff going on in our real lives. It affects how we do other stuff. So by all means, please, you know what? I'm not saying that I'm a therapy group, but if you can't feel comfortable talking to your friends, then there really isn't much point. So that's what I'm saying. I'm not, there's no stuffiness. It's a good down-to-earth group. At least that's the goal that I'm trying to get with this group. So enough of that. Please feel free to check it out. If you don't want to stay, you don't want to stay. There's no law. You don't have to. But, hey, I just want to help as much as I can. And you know what? I like talking. And I like sharing things with people. I like hearing things people have to say. And it's just uh, it's just how it is. Anyways, guys, I've talked long enough. Um, I'm going to run out of minute. I'm going to run out of minutes in a few minutes. So, anyway, on that note, I'm going to go have my afternoon pop. And we'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great Sunday afternoon.